are so excited to finally show you a video of our completed wedding passport invitations. We just want to let you know a little bit about them. So I know a lot of brides have had passport invitations before, but we wanted it to be a little bit more expanded. We have about 14 pages inside of information about the resort and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so we wanted a little bit more like a brochure. So um, I want to tell you we got 60 pound cardstock for the outside, um, which did present a little bit of a challenge because I'm not sure if you can see on here, but it's a little bit textured. So um, printing was a little bit more difficult with that, but we were able to find a small print shop nearby that did an awesome job. Um, and also the inside pages are not cream. They're just a very, very light um, off-white. Um, but if you do like a cream or a darker, they, the colors probably won't turn out as nice. Um, so let's get started here on the very inside page. We have um, just like a real passport here. We have the picture of the bride and groom and then all the information for the wedding, um, the real font and everything up there. And then the, we made up some, you know, we have our wedding date in there and our initials and all that stuff. Um, and then here is the page with the actual formal invitation um, and then the little spot where you're supposed to sign on a passport. On the next page we have all of our information from the actual resort. We took a bunch of stuff from the website. Um, these are all pictures from the actual resort and everything. Um, and then we have the resort website, it's kind of hard to see on here, um, listed right there. And then the next page we got um, our travel agent information. And if you're not using a travel agent, that's okay. You can um, put in information from different uh, websites where you can find cheap fares and all that stuff. Um, but we just figured it'd be really nice to include all of that so that our guests know that without having to go to our wedding website or any other websites. Um, but we did list our wedding website here as well. Um, and then on this page we have our itinerary with specific um, things that we have planned for the week that we're there. So you, obviously that's, um, you know, we have our welcome gathering, we have a rehearsal dinner, and then we have the wedding day. Some people have like a brunch afterwards and all that stuff. Um, here we have the dining. So this is exciting to do because um, we took pictures from all the different restaurants and everything. And um, we have specific like what the food is like there. Um, when the food is served, so if it's just dinner, if we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, and then the dress code for each of the restaurants here. Um, and then this page we have all the activities, so it's um, stuff that's included in the resort. So we have the kayaking and sailing and all of that stuff, um, plus the Explorers Club for Kids, so there's a bunch of information um, for what the kids can do while they're there. And then this page is the one page where um, it's definitely changeable. Um, a lot of the Riviera Maya resorts have golf included in the um, resort fees and everything um, with golf courses that are really close by, but we um, we have a lot of guys who are going to want to do that, so that's why we added that. But you could expand on the activities here on this page, or um, here we have local attractions, so you could put details about um, what the excursions are like there and everything because um, here we just took pictures and labeled them with the names of the excursions and everything um, and then on this page we have our trip tips so we have when the bride and groom are going um, so that they know what dates will be there but then since it's their vacation they can go before they can stay longer if they'd want you know but we just want to remind them like what dates we're going to be there um, and then we have what to bring, so we have specific, you know, no jeans to the wedding. Um, but then also for some of the resorts there are um, requirements for um, attire. And then of course we have the information about the, what the weather is going to be like, super hot. <laughs> Um, and then on this last page we have our contact information and then a note from us um, talking about um, when we come back we'll have a at home for reception for the guests who aren't able to make it. Um, and then we have this awesome map here. Um, in the corner here we have the whole map of Mexico so that people can see where 
the Yucatan Peninsula is located right there in the corner um, so that they know we're not going to be, you know, where all the drug cartel and everything are. Um, and then um, we have the Yucatan Peninsula blown up here so they can see where exactly our now Jade Resort is. Um, we have the logo there and everything. So now I want to show you, um, I know a lot of brides had questions about the bleeds and what that meant and everything. Um, so here we have the inside pages, um, all 14 of them. We have um, the top and bottom cut off, but we didn't cut the edge off yet because of how um, exact we wanted them to look. So we have an eighth inch bleed on the outside printed so that when you put it in here, it lines up perfectly and then you can cut them exact so that um, so that this little edge is gone so you're not having to like make sure you get on this outside edge exactly um, which makes for a perfect cut um, if you can see here we got the edges perfectly cut here um, and then I want to talk to you about the assembly a little bit um, we decided to go with hemp um, we punched tiny little holes in there and threaded the hemp through and then tied it on the outside. We also did experiment with stapling. We had some colored staples that we just put two staples on the outside here, which we think this looks a little bit better. Um, but you could also, um, I know I've seen a few brides do this where they take the inside page and they actually glued it so that, you know, the picture and everything would be right here with all the words this way, um, so that they can thread just like a real passport, you could thread the inside pages and then glue it to the outside and then you wouldn't see the thread on the outside. So that is an idea too. So now I'm going to show you our RSVP. Um, this is one that was sent back to us with a yes response, yay. Um, and it's the perfect postcard size once they tear off the outside here. We did have it perforated. Um, and that's on the blog as well. You can see full pictures, but this is one that we saved in a sealed envelope because we wanted to, you know, be sentimental and save our invite. <laughs> um, so this is the returned one. And then um, also on the outside of this one, um, my fiance put a QR code that links right up to our wedding website so people can take a snapshot with their phone and link right to our website. And then it has the date that we want them to RSVP by and everything. So they keep this part and then they send it back with this and you don't need an envelope because it's postcard size. So that's perfect. Um, oh, in the back of that. So that is that. Um, this template was made in Adobe Illustrator and all the graphics that were used are at least 150 dpi so it's very high quality um looks very professionally made a lot of our guests just could not believe that um we designed this and had it printed and everything um they thought we sent out for it and everything so it's awesome because it definitely um helped convince some of our guests to even come because before they just thought oh you know destination wedding it's kind of expensive blah 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 but when they saw like all the work that we put into on um, wanting to give them all the information, they were super excited and convinced some of them to actually book with us. So we're super excited. Um, thanks for watching our video. Um, and if you need information or if you're interested in our template, please private message us. Um, and please include your actual email so that we can get back to you quickly. Um, it should just be a couple days before we're able to get back to you. Thanks, guys, and congratulations to all your brides and grooms out there. We're excited for you.